On this video, we're going to talk about the grid. You know, a grid makes up a horizontal and vertical line spaced equal distance apart. Having a grid helps positioning the quilt patterns. You may choose to show a grid on the screen and select distance between the grid lines. Under view menu at the top up here, I'm going to click on view and I have icon that says view grid. I'm going to click that and that shows my grid on the screen. If I go back and click that again, that hides the grid. I'm going to draw a line. I like that. And turn on the grid snap icon at the bottom of the screen and the grid appears. And now I'm snapped to a grid. Okay, let's go back to view and I can change the size of the grid. I'd like to use one inch when I'm doing an edge to edge. That gives me approximately the size of the pattern or the density of the pattern by showing that one inch. Now if you're uh, going to do something very precise, you may want to lower that down to 0.25. And the way you do that is just click right on that grid size and type 0.25. Okay. Now, as you can see, the grid is a lot smaller. The grid size has limitations. The minimum size is 0.25 inches. The maximum size is 14 feet. Because of the differences in computer screens, you may need to reset your grid size so that one inch grid accurately measures one inch. You may calibrate your screen to measure accurately using the zoom reset icon. That covers the grids. Happy quilting. Thank you.